I wrote a little work a few years ago, might be many years ago at this point, called How to Live Every Day in the End Times. We're flooded with all sorts of media-related end times, final times, movies and ideas and books and the popular Christian culture of all of the left behind this and that rapture, eschatology kind of stuff. But yet, we miss some of the basics that the Apostle Paul laid clearly out in the book of Philippians. And so this little work touched on some of those things, but I've updated it and revised it and expanded it and added aspects to it that I thought were lacking. And I talk about what eschatology is really and how Paul applied that to the people, to the church at Philippi. Because Philippians, who would have thought? Philippians is filled with eschatological ideas. And so Paul teaches the Philippians how to pray with a mindset that's set on the end. He teaches them how to meditate, how to have godly meditation, not the, the demonic yoga stuff or the free your mind garbage that's being propagated out there. No, not, not that at all. He's talking about godly meditation and thinking about what God says in his word and working it into the soul and how that specifically applies to eschatology, to the end times in which we live. And he talks about how we're to study God's word in such a way as to set our minds on Jesus Christ, in whose strength we live and move every day, and study the Word of God with profit for the very fact that the end is approaching. And so these various aspects on how to live in the end times how to live a godly life that's pleasing to the Lord Jesus Christ, specifically surrounding the book of Philippians, is what this, this little book is about. How to live every day in the end times. And not only how to do that, but to cultivate it. So that you might be greater today in your religion before the Lord Jesus Christ than you were yesterday. How to cultivate that so every day, as the day is approaching, what are we to do? We are to rejoice in the Lord always. And so as we look at prayer and study and meditation and cultivating our sanctification, all of these are surrounded by eschatological joy that we might master the world that we live in, spiritually speaking, by joy. How many of you are joyful? How many of you are outward, outwardly joyful that people in your church would say, Psh, when I think of so-and-so, all I think about is how joyful he is. The book of Philippians is a book of rejoicing. And all of these various ways in prayer and study and meditation and cultivation of sanctification, in fellowship with one another, in church and receiving the means of grace, all of these things in these end times aid us to cultivate joy. It should be said of you that you are joyful. As a matter of fact, Philippians tells us, being one as we should to rejoice in the Lord always, that if we don't do that, that's sin to us. Because the Lord Jesus Christ tells us that we are to rejoice in the Lord always. That's what this little book is about. If you're looking to escape the mundane pressure and oppression of the world that's constantly against you and you're one of those grumpy people that just can't seem to get out of that slump and you're in that rut. The book of Philippians is a staff that Christ the shepherd will lift you out of that rut that you've fallen into, that hole as a, as a sheep that needs help. And he'll aid you through his word in Philippians to rejoice in him always. This book is available right now in its updated and expanded version at Puritan Publications. Go to www. 
www.puritanpublications.com for more information on this in ebook form and in print form. And may the Lord bless you abundantly as you study along with the Apostle Paul and hear his directions on how to be a joyful Christian in the end times and how to live every day in the end times to the glory of Christ in eschatological joy.